Hello Navigator. In this video, we are going to talk about solidifying cargo. We know chemical tanker carries noxious liquid substances in bulk form. Some noxious liquid substances can be considered as solidifying cargo. The name solidifying cargo itself sounds like something related to solidification, right? So the cargo which tends to become solid and the industry decided to consider any cargo as a solidifying cargo in two different cases. One, the cargo which has the melting point below 15 degrees Celsius and another one, the cargo which has the melting point 15 degree or above 15 degrees Celsius. Now let me remind you what is melting point. Melting point of any cargo indicates at which temperature it becomes liquid. Now let's talk about the first condition that is cargo having melting temperature less than 15 degrees Celsius. You, let's say you are carrying paraxylene which is a noxious liquid substance. Melting temperature of paraxylene is 13 degrees Celsius. Now industry will consider it as a solidifying cargo unless you discharge it with more than 5 degrees Celsius of the melting temperature that means more than 17 degrees Celsius 14 15 16 17 and 18 so if you discharge this cargo with 18 degrees Celsius then it will not be considered as solidifying cargo now let's talk about second part cargo which has temp which has melting temperature more than 15 degrees Celsius or equal to 15 degrees Celsius. Now let's come up with an example. Let's say you are carrying palm oil which has melting temperature 20 degrees Celsius. The industry will consider this cargo as a solidifying cargo until unless you discharge this palm oil with a temperature more than 30 degrees Celsius. So here the limit is 10 degree more for the case of cargos having melting point 15 degree celsius or more so if we summarize the conditions we will find like this now let's talk about why the industry introduced this system of considering solidifying cargos and this is because of the safety of the environment to make it more clear to save the environment and they have put restriction on discharging over the washing water of this solidifying cargo if it is solidifying cargo you cannot discharge the tank cleaning water to the sea as per marpole regulation you have to do a pre-wash for solidifying cargo so in another video we'll talk about pre-wash stay safe stay blessed see you in next video thank you so much for watching